What's up everybody? Welcome back to Fernandez Tour Reviews and today I wanted to show you my everyday carry as a forklift mechanic. Uh, also I carry usually some tools or some sort of knife and other things when I'm working on other different tasks or just walking around every day I like to have certain things with me just to make life easier but uh, this is what I would carry basically on my person on a regular day as a forklift mechanic and uh, let's get started so first is this uh, Milwaukee fastback uh, utility knife box cutter whatever you want to call it it's uh, part number 4822150 uh, it's their smaller one of the fastbacks. It's more like compact and lightweight. Just takes the basic uh, utility knife blades. This one here is a Irwin by Metallic. Uh, next is another fastback by Milwaukee, part number 48221525. Uh, this is actually the Hawkbill and uh has a liner lock for folding it back um i picked this up because i was working on a lot of power cables or battery cables on electric forklifts and this just kind of made it easier to cut the jacket for tips or whatever along those lines uh, i haven't been using it as much recently so i was thinking about just putting this in my tool bag and kind of leaving it there uh what's next i have a leatherman super tool 300 in a clip and carry uh, kydex holster and i bought the holster on amazon it was i think 30 ish dollars 35 i don't remember it's been a couple years but it's held up pretty good uh, i've I had no issues really out of it and I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I just got tired of replacing the cloth holster, holsters or anything like that. I tried a couple different things for a while and just weren't lasting. I didn't, this one didn't have a leather one that came with it, so I would have used it. But uh, yeah, Leatherman Super Tool 300 uh, was a gift from my brother-in-law. Lots of built-in tools, uh, multiple different kinds of blades, so there's a lot of cutting tools in this setup, I guess. But uh, you have a serrated blade, standard blade, and you also have a saw, uh, plus some screwdrivers, bottle opener, can opener type, type stuff. But the most used item, obviously, is gonna be the pliers for these. Um, you just try to carry a pen with me, just obviously for writing stuff down. I don't spend lots of money on those. Uh, I usually get most of them for free. Uh, Milwaukee Ink Salt Permanent Marker. Um, these are pretty good for what they are. Uh, the ones that I've had the best luck with are like the black ink and the blue. Uh, the ones that actually come with a clip. Uh, this. And a couple other ones are like the metallic ones that had issues with them not uh, transferring the ink as well. But uh, I also have this Nebo Inspector RC rechargeable light. Um, it has a USB C charging port and it's uh, water resistant and dust resistant also but uh, it has the four times telescoping zoom uh, but usually I just leave it on the flood mode um, has three modes oh, a high low and obviously the strobe but uh, yeah uh, you can use the rechargeable battery that it comes with or you can use two, two AAA's um, 
which is nice in case your battery dies and you haven't had have some replacement AAAs. I have this small uh, card holder, which I keep my uh, work ID in and business cards and stuff like that. Um, it's by Line of Trade, made in USA. I don't remember exactly where I got that from. I think it was an old subscription that I used to have or something like that. Um, and then my wallet, it's an Andar wallet. I bought it off of Amazon. Uh, I've had it at least four years, and I really like it. It's got a removable money clip, and it's just a pretty good setup for me. Um, I also wear uh, Garmin Instinct Solar. Uh, I like to use it for tracking runs and workouts and just stuff like that, heart rate, all kinds of stuff. That was a gift for my wife. Um, and not pictured, I also carry usually a pocket screwdriver and uh, these items go in my shirt pocket. Um, these go in my right and left pockets and these go in my cargo pocket um, by my right knee and this goes on my hip obviously but um, I also have a work phone, Samsung and then my personal phone which I am recording with uh, but yeah, I uh, have different setups for various kinds of things. I like multi-tools and knives in general. So if you want to see any of those or different uh, setups that I use, let me know. And let me know what you think or if you're interested in any of the stuff in this video. I'll do my best to leave some links in the descrip description or uh, comments. But, yeah, I mean, let me know what you carry or what makes your life a little easier. But thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave me a like if you like the video. And let me know what you think in the comments, uh, suggestions. Also, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more tour reviews and maybe similar stuff like this I might do other EDC things in the future, uh, but thanks for watching.